Welcome back to Cradle. I need to get the power working in this place again, but before that I have some more overdue reading. So I've read everything on this board around here, but I have not read this stuff on the ground. So let's get reading. Dear Oddbear, no doubt, sweet Passium, as you aptly noted, is the heart of all things virtuous. However, despite the tasty name, it does not have confectionary properties. Passium's sweet isomer, as with its bitter counterpart, were named thusly due to their smell, not taste. Several years ago, back when our lives were not yet turned upside down, several grams of an unknown substance made its way under some scientific microscopes, or under some scientist microscopes. Wait, that, that's not correct either. I should say under some scientists microscopes. The ensuing discovery was that the translucent liquid was a mix of its two isomers, two substances with entirely different properties. Upon secretion from the general mixture, the first isomer assumed a violet glow and a pleasant, sweet fragrance, thereby earning the name of the sweet element. The second isomer, a viscous black liquid with a repulsive stench, was likewise appropriately dubbed the bitter element. Back then, nobody could appreciate the irony of using witty culinary names to christen two elements of extraordinary might that have arrived to us from the unexplored bowels of the universe. Huh. Yeah, I just realized that until now I didn't actually know what Passium looks like. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously I know what the Desprotoxin looks like, the black liquid. But yeah, the... A passium. Sweet Passium. Is apparently violet. Grandpa listened to him, ashamed for not decorating the home earlier, and agreed to the deal. He didn't pay much, since it doesn't work and cannot talk. But at least we now have a container to store discarded Fido copies. Hmm. I think they're talking about Ida. Yeah, they're talking about decorating the home. Agreeing to a deal. Didn't pay much for it since it doesn't work and cannot talk. Yeah, they must be talking about Ida. And they're using her, uh, using her as a container to store discarded Fido copies. Cash voucher for three rolls of felt. Cool. Newspaper snip from 2065. Analysis of the remains has confirmed. A neurochip that's been in the sphere for 15 years cannot be restored. This makes the conflict in the matter of originals right a moot point. The neurochip's owner has perished, and we can confidently restore him to life by activating a backup neurocopy. Oh! Right, originals right, which is basically saying that there should only be one copy of a person, like, active at any one time, right? You shouldn't clone people. You should only transfer them. So this person died in a sphere. And they checked. And there's no way to actually bring the person back. Yeah, they cannot be restored. So effectively, they are dead. Which means original Originals Right doesn't apply anymore, so they can actually restore a backup of the Neurochip and bring them back to life. I think this is... Oh no, I was going to say this is all the same newspaper clipping, but it's not. No, it's really hard to tell where one ends and the other begins. I have observed my death 47 times. Ryan Gillen, the discoverer of the panic attack, remembers his first experiments in consciousness emulation. Um, wait, what? The discoverer of the panic attack. Uh... Huh? Panic attacks have been happening... Forever. The person who, dis who discovered the panic attack can't possibly st still be alive. I don't get it. Upon reaching critical mass, 
Passium's bitter isomer sharply changes its physical state, as harmless black liquid transforms into the devastating substance known as Desperate Toxin. What follows is a powerful emission of particles and the formation of a deadly contamination zone. For reasons yet unknown, the zone takes on a spherical form with clearly identifiable borders. Yes, yeah, so the bitter isomer is not actually something different from Passium. Like, the bitter and the sweet part are both part of, of Passium. So the black isn't... Well, I mean, I guess the black things I see roving around are actually Desperate Toxin. But I guess it's also Passium, where it, it was a type of Passium. Just the bitter portion of Passium. The bitter uh, isomer. Yeah, from harmless black liquid into the Desperate Toxin. Medicinal Herbs Picking Calendar. Now that this design flaw has been eliminated, the new model of M-Bodies will feature Lens as a standalone element. That means no more trips to the maintenance center to repair your sight. You'll be able to change your lens independently and without rebooting. Hmm. I guess I had an issue with uh, lenses breaking. So they made it easier to uh, change them out. Ulan Bator Thermal Network Specialist Credentials. Kangai Research Station 2056. Um, that's the name of this research station right here, right? The Gerbera Gardens, the, the Polar Research Station, I think. Kangai Research Station. The standard and alternative transfer methods. The alternative method secures the transfer of short-term memory from donor to recipient at three times the effectiveness of the standard method. In doing so, the recipient acquires not only the donor's memories, but also his psycho-emotional attitudes, which are then firmly anchored in his consciousness. Furthermore, the risk related to the MPR1 effect must not be overlooked. As a precautionary measure to blunt the feeling of attachment to the donor, it is recommended to nullify the recipient's short-term memory immediately after transfer. Nullify the recipient's short-term memory immediately after transfer. So this, yeah, this is talking about transferring the kids. Or, I guess rather, the, the method that they used to transfer the consciousness of the kids. Yeah. Yeah, because that was an important part of the transfer, right? The the kids go through this therapy of all these simple shapes and kind of blunting their their sensitivity. And then they also get shown positive, um, you know, positive images of human forms doing good things, right? With assembling a human, like a human body with all the parts. And the human body vanquishing the witch or whatever. So they kind of blunt their sensitivity, show them positive portrayals of humans doing good things, the human form doing good things, to make positive associations with the human form. And then it's the transfer that kind of like cinches the deal. Right, it makes all this stuff that they've been doing stick. So that's what it's talking about when it says they also they don't just acquire the memories, but also the psycho-emotional attitudes. And yeah, apparently their short-term memory is zapped. Ugh. I guess it's not that big of a deal, but it's still creepy. The solar generator wasn't the problem. It didn't need to remove it. It was the two storage batteries with the burst plates. The third one is fine. I wiped the connections clean. It's still got some life left. I don't need to run away from the swirls. Rather, I need to fight them. One well-aimed throw with a stick disperses them without fail. Heh, <laughs> true. I already discovered that, though. Now I feel clever. Huh. That's weird. So the icon that pops up over your cursor that indicates that you can read something is this. This one that looks kind of like an eye. 
and it pops up when I aim at this pile here, but when I click, nothing happens. Weird. Probably just a broken script trigger or something. Experiment number 402. Automatic report card. In place of some numbers, there are rectangular hollows. I think that's the report cards that came from Gerbera Gardens, right? Because I've seen those, like, cut out report cards. Body replacement program approved. For want of a solution for liquidating the virus, we have been given no choice. The UN Security Council has approved the launching of a comprehensive program for transferring human consciousness into mechanical bodies. In a bitter twist of fate, consciousness emulation technology, the de facto cause of the epidemic, now offers the sole alternative to total human extinction. Custom Declaration. Tibetan books, three of them. 16... 1600 grams? Oh yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> for, for some reason at first I was thinking, man, that's really heavy. 1600 grams, that's like hundreds of pounds. Uh, no, it's like 300 and something grams to a pound. The correlation of components in passium varies. In some, the sweet component dominates, while in others, it's the bitter. Everything goes back to the HQ. If your HQ is measured at, say, 40, then 40% 40 of the passium you produce will be sweet and 60% will be bitter. In short, your HQ equals your sweetness. Ascertaining the number assigned to you by fate is not difficult. Simply contact. Five hundred kilometers west of the Chile coastline, the Pacific Ocean stretches from horizon to horizon. In contrast to its antipode, what the heck is an antipode? I have no idea what an antipode is. In contrast to its antipode, South Neuropole has no ring of silence. There's nothing here at all except for water and constant noise at 117.3 theta hertz frequency. Is that theta hertz? Not gigahertz. Th theta? Or something hertz? I'm assuming that's like super super high frequency or something. I guess maybe the uh, frequency band... Yeah, I mean, the frequency band has been changing over time. In the future, it's probably going to be something pretty different. Okay, I think that's mostly it. I'm sure I missed a couple things. Let's check back here. Oh, there's one. Ooh, also this. Enabish. Tabaha is back with many new orders. Too many, in fact. He's a generous soul. I told him last time that we don't need so many, but he must not have heard me. A restless soul. Providence bless him. Nobody's going to design a body from scratch to have it serve as a finery. That would be prohibitively expensive. All humanoid decorations are manufactured on the basis of standard M-bodies. Their production has long been streamlined, and parts are dirt cheap. Okay, so designing a body from scratch to be decorative would be a waste, so they just use an already existing person and then change it to turn it into Ida, for example. Turn them into a, a vase. Okay, any other notes? Like, I don't know if I read these. Mm, no, I did read that. I don't think I read this. No, I didn't. Going as far as adopting hundreds of hectares into tillable land in the southern territories. Something, 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 and then the panic attack. The first experiments in consciousness simulation ended with rather unexpected results. Scientists report a strange reaction that sets in immediately following the neurocopy's activation. Reproduced in the processing device, the subject's nervous system begins to rapidly disintegrate, descending into a state of profound terror. 
The befuddled researched have already dubbed the... Wait, the befuddled researched? The befuddled researchers? I think it's supposed to say. The befuddled researchers have already dubbed the phenomenon panic attack. Panic attack launches an all-out assault on the nervous system. A mere two minute of an uninterrupted attack leads to irreversible... Okay, yeah, that squares with something else I heard about panic attacks. At first being reversible, but then, you know, if it lasts for too long, it can cause horrible harm to... I, I guess your brain. Hmm. So it's not, not just a normal panic attack, this is different. Immediately following the neurocopy's activation. So this can happen with some transfers, I guess? Hmm. Well, it's just talking about consciousness simulation. Right here, so it's not actually talking about transfers, right? But it also talks about a neurocopy, which is a copy of somebody's brain. I'm not really sure. Fruit bushes will be affected first. Namely, the fruit-bearing properties of plum olive are set to decrease manifold. Only select water-adjacent varieties of this plant are likely to retain the ability. Retain the ability to what? Reproduce? Well, I guess that's what I've just uh, eaten and fed to Ongots. Because it's near water. Hello, note. The brew didn't turn out well. I mixed up the spices again. Eye drops don't seem to be helping. I still can't make out the text. Please arrange the jars in the same order. Pepper, salt, cinnamon, curry, sugar. I remember the order now, and with heaven's help, I won't mix it up again. Huh. Well, if I had read that before looking for the salt, that would have made things a lot easier. Huh. Two-headed turnip. I don't think I read this either. Once more, genetic engineering comes to the rescue of agriculture. A new variety of fodder root, fodder root crops will allow farmers to reduce... Historic solution. The World Assembly of Health has ratified the Transhuman Program. Modification of human genome and liquidation of death. No longer are these ambitious goals unattainable by science. To be sure, it is too early to celebrate the start of a new era of anthropogenesis. The project is still several years away from being realized. And yet, it's hard to suppress utter delight at the thought of... Yeah, I mean, if you start liquidating people and transferring consciousness, like, you have some serious legal issues to overcome. The same body as yours, only young, 20, even 40 years younger. Any age you wish, in fact, with a genome that's either identical to yours or modified. Long story short, we'll be making a clone. Only somebody will need to take over it afterwards, transferring their consciousness to it. How will it be done? Consciousness transfer is precisely the field of research undertaken by Project Transhuman. Stuffed Peppers, the famous, music, the famous music band presents the new album, Renew Your Flavor. The concert is timed to the anniversary of the successful modification of the Empathy Gene. All proceeds will be remitted to Project Transhuman Research Fund. Okay, well first it's ironic that the name of their new album is Renew Your Flavor, because the band is Stuffed Peppers. <laughs> However, this is weird. Um... The anniversary of the successful modification of the empathy gene. Okay, so they're modifying people's empathy with the genes, but how are they modifying them? To make them more empathetic, or to make them less? I don't think anything's going in there.
you know, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, as far as reading goes, I think that's pretty much it. I'm sure there's the odd note that I've missed, but... I think it's time to repair the power. Let's do this. Holy lag. There we go. Don't I need to, like, connect them? I don't need a third one, do I? Don't know, but I do know that I need to put this up there anyway. Alright, so that should be working. Oh, look at that. You can see all the parts of this transmitter are held on with, like, duct tape and stuff. That's really cool. Yeah, I thought that note said that the third battery is broken. So do I actually need a third battery, or is that good? Uh, yeah. Is the power working? The box is wired up. Are we good? Did you power up the terminal? Apparently not. Uh. Oh, no, I didn't break the game again, did I? This is the same thing that happened with the, the PDA. Or the tablet. I pressed the dialogue and it's supposed to kick me out, and but now there's no options to choose and it's not doing anything. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And it looks like I, th I think I actually do just need three batteries, and it looks like the third one is actually hiding here in the grass. There we go. Yeah, that should do it. Alright, well before I do anything with that, I want to mention a couple things that I found. Or, I guess not mention, but actually explore a couple things that I found. So while I was looking around, I found this little, like, newspaper clipping back here. Milligrams of Emotions. It has been several years since the pages of this very magazine served as a forum for a lively discussion of a wondrous discovery, wherein a synchronizer somehow materialized a substance equivalent to emotions. It was pleasant to ponder the mysterious phenomenon, presuming it would never leave the confines of its lab. However, the phenomenon has since escaped and, by the looks of things, forced its way into our personal lives for years to come. With time, we will grow accustomed to the thought that our own emotions unwittingly produce a chemical element that, even yesterday, was not part of the periodic table. What? The remote control must be in the yurt. Okay. That's <laughs> telling me something from inside that I need to do. I was reading this. Excuse me. Blah, 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 blah. Not part of the periodic table. Accustomed to the knowledge that every emotion we experience adds a few milligrams of Passium-433 into a capsule in our chests. Okay, and there is one more. There's actually a note that I missed here. Um, it's this one. We are looking at forced temporary resettlements. An artificial body serves as temporary haven. Owing to this special property, it has been given the name Metabody, or M-Body for short. Yes, yeah, so that explains what, um, what M-Body stands for. I actually just assumed it was something like mechanical body, but apparently it's meta body. Okay, so now I need the remote.
Serious talk. Late show. He even displays that guy's HQ. Like, that's just general knowledge. As general as somebody's name. Uh, I should probably put that in my inventory. Yeah. Hmm. There's no sound, though. I want sound. Did you power up the terminal? Uh... Not yet? No, you... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! It's repeatable. This, this soft lock is repeatable. Every single time I ask that... Every, every single time I say not yet. Oh. <laughs> okay, I better not talk to her unless I'm really, 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 really sure I've powered up the terminal. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. Use the remote to switch on the terminal. The reason is both simple and evident. Oh. Wait, now it has sound? Of two huh? Copies of the same person gives rise to problems we are not prepared to tackle, as clearly demonstrated by the sorrowful experience of the recent past. For now, strict prohibition on duplication and forced deactivation of existing duplicates remain the only solution to the situation. Deactivated neurocopies are retired into secure storage facilities for likely reactivation in the future, when a legitimate solution is found. This is one of the cases when... Oh, that's ruined. Okay, yeah, so, wow, before I just, like, somehow totally broke the game. I activated this, but I had no sound, and this script didn't run. Now I'm supposed to speak with her. Okay. Please don't softlock the game again. Ida, our terminal burned down. I know, but I managed to check the number in time. You did? So what's the news? Are you going home? The news is bad. I no longer have originals right. There's nowhere for me to go. Why? I was restored. Three years ago, Ida Meyer was confirmed dead and restored from a reserve neurocopy. She currently lives somewhere in Geneva. Oh god, so she's a copy. If you shut down a copy, are you m murdering someone? I mean... God, that's a messy situation. I mean... <laughs> there's originals right, but still. She is literally just as much a person as her original, so to speak, who's living in Geneva. We don't seem to have much luck. How did she die? It says here... Died in a disparatoxin emission in 2058. This means you are now a duplicate? Correct. My very existence is illegal. Well, don't fret. We'll improvise. Improvise? Sure. We'll find you a normal body with legs. With legs? And then what? Uh, something wrong with her display screen? Her eyes. Something's wrong with her display screen showing her eyes. Then? Then we'll live our lives, selling flowers. Anibish, listen. When my battery runs out, I want you to put my flowers into secure warranty. I mean, into a glass cell, yes? That is a secure evacuation. I understand. What? What I mean is, please put my neurochip in a cell which... Enemish into a camera of times or a camera of dreams. Okay, she's breaking. What's with your voice? I don't know. A camera of tides? What are you talking about? I'm malfunctioning somehow. My thoughts are out of order. But I think it's over. You need repairs. I don't need anything, Enemish. I'll be put to sleep soon. Disconnected. And for a long while, I bet. So, you've decided? Yes. That is my decision. So you wake up and go right back to sleep. Got it. More like, wake up, get totally confused, 
then go back to sleep. What are you confused about? The explosion, for one thing. I haven't a clue how I'm connected to it. You got caught in an emission. That's just bad luck. No, Enderish, it's not that simple. I found another mention of my name, here, in the database, in the search history. Somebody was searching for information about me. Hmm. I wonder if perhaps she was the one that actually caused the explosion. Maybe she was the one. Yeah, maybe she was the one. I'd reached a critical amount of bitter passium. Wouldn't they have known, though? I mean, I'm sure they monitor that stuff. So what? What's so strange about that? The fact that it was the only query for my name in the entire search history made 20 minutes before the explosion. Hmm? Who made the query? A man named Mark. Mark Darren. He's listed as transfer operator. The explosion happened on his shift. There's even a recording of it. And also... How curious. What? Going by the recording, there was an equipment breakdown not long before the explosion. At around the same time the query was made. Yet what kind of a recording Oops, is whoop. it? Sorry, I cut her off. <laughs> it was saved automatically. It mentions some kind of a malfunction that, because it wasn't corrected in time, forced a modification in the transfer procedure. And no, I don't know the nature of the modification. I haven't yet figured it out. Why do you even care? Is that really important now? It is to me. Because aside from these fragments of the past, I have more fragments of the past than... I mean... Ida. Hey. It happened again. I'm getting worse. I'll repeat. You need repairs. You need to know the cause of the problem before you can correct it, which I do not. Could it be those processing errors you've mentioned? Which errors? You know, the ones that accumulate over time. Impossible. I've just rebooted myself. They don't accumulate so quickly. Something else is happening here. Your voice is changing. If only it were just the voice. I'm at a loss. The reasons could be many. Could be my synchronizer is on the fritz. I've heard of cases when the neurochip malfunctioned due to a deteriorating link with the DNA. Either that or my neurocopy is failing. But if that's the case... What then? Nothing. Let's just hope it's the synchronizer. Let's. Then we'll replace it with a new one. Sure. There's a new one here in the small. Distance close. Give me the pavilion number. I'll go and get it. Is in six rooms soft. Got it. And, um, don't go crazy just yet. Try. Try? Yes. Okay. Pavilion six. Gotcha. It's funny, the kids that were getting treatment at Gerbera Gardens, all of them, they had to play these games to get parts. And they all did this separately, and then at the end they all came together and brought all their parts together and assembled a, you know, a, a complete human. And that's kind of what I'm doing with her. I'm replacing her bit by bit. There's some sort of a mystery afoot, obviously. Something with this explosion. And this transfer operator. That searched for her name just before it happened. I don't have my magic sword. Oh, this music is beautiful.
<gasps> oh, I need to get to number six. But I know from past experience that this is broken. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to get to my sword in time, but I couldn't. Uh, yeah, this elevator's broken. Which means I need to use my hardcore parkour skills to get there. I can't remember whether I showed this. I, I might have showed this in previous episodes, or maybe I cut it out when I was kind of lost, but I have parkoured over to most of these places. Yeah, I think I did show myself getting up here. Is it? Search the sixth pavilion. This is the sixth pavilion. Hello. Hello. Let me just pry this door open. <laughs> it didn't work. I figured out what kind of breakdown the report was referring to. During a transfer, the ability to speak was not blocked out for one of the kids. <gasps> that is, he was talking to himself, to his own copy. Oh my god. That would be very, very unsettling. I see you. Go on in. minigame will we have this time? Hopefully it's one that doesn't take too long. Let me guess, it's basically the same thing, but with different colors! Am I right or am I right? Use bombs to destroy gray blocks. Yep, pretty much the same game. Cool. Alright, let's do it. Right, so I can't just attach them to the platforms anymore, right? Oh no, you can? Huh. Okay. Yep, you're gonna exploderize my face, I know. Oh, you can actually you can actually just break these if you just keep bashing them. Uh oh, okay, well maybe it's gonna happen too fast. Speed seems to be the key. That is not where I wanted that to happen. There's no point in trying to make bombs to explode that. You might as well just bash it open and then just shove it in to a little hole. Uh-oh. Yeah. 
you dick. Ah, it's sucking. Gotta wait a second. Come on. There we go. Don't fall! Oh. Whatever. Oh god. <sighs> That's so annoying. Rest in peace points. Start from the top again. Oh, come on. You know, I'm gonna explode it. Let's just do it. Oh. What? I'm gonna, like, mobbed at this point. need a hole. Please don't- okay. That's great. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, it's sucking now. Well, let's be honest, this has been sucking the whole time. But now it's sucking especially strong. There goes points. Just don't explode that fuck! Just explode. Alright, can you just explode? Thank you. Almost there. Not quite almost as much there as before. Please stop sucking. Please stop sucking. Alright, take this from the top again. Let's go one level down. Is 
so it's not entirely useless to do explosions. <sighs> can you feel my soul dying? I can feel it. It doesn't feel good. Come on, just explode my face. Two more. One. And two. And third one for no reason. Thank God, kill me now. <sighs> I wanted to end and save this for the next episode, honestly, but then I was like, you know what, let's just get it out of the way so when I come back next time, I don't have to deal with this. Because if you're dreading doing something and you leave that for when you come back to a game, it makes me not want to come back to it. <sighs> so there we go. Undoubtedly, I'm going to have to play every mini game in every single pavilion, probably. But at least for now, that's done. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it there. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.